Hi, I'm Liva Bray, and I am the author of Diviners. Well, let me tell you a little bit about what The Diviners is about. Uh, my editor, Alvina Ling, the amazing Alvina Ling, has a tagline that she uses, and I'm stealing it because, uh, as, as we know, good writers borrow, but great writers steal. And she says that um, it is uh, the great Gatsby meets Stephen King. I personally call it X-Files with flappers. Um, so now you have two, two, two taglines in one. It is a sort of sprawling saga. It's the first book in a four book series. It's set in 1920s New York. It combines all of the things that I love, history, politics, horror, uh, elements of the supernatural, um, glamour, speakeasies, follies, cute shoes. It was really a labor of love. I began to do the research about four years ago when I was thinking about how much I would really like to write something about the 1920s. And at the same time, I was thinking about how much I really wanted to write something about post 9-11 America, but I wasn't sure how to go about that. This morning, I was at the children's breakfast and I heard Lois Lowry say quite brilliantly, um, because we always hear that writers should write about what they know, but she said, I think writers should write about what they don't know. And she said, I think we should write about the things that we wonder about, the things that keep us up at night. And so I would say, yes, those were the things that were keeping me up at night. I was thinking very much about where we had, uh, the point that we had come to um, as Americans. And I was really thinking a lot about that. And as I began to do the research on the 1920s, what I began to discover was that, of course, there were so many parallels. And that, as we know, the past is prologue. And so that was really sort of a lot of what came into the background of writing Diviners. And then, of course, I wanted monsters and stuff. What is your thoughts when you were writing your character of Evie? Do you even think about um, what kind of a role model she is or what kind of role model you are as you're writing some of these books? Uh, the whole idea of my being a role model is, is scary to me. I, you know, I just want to say, please look at these other people like Laurie Hall Sanderson as your role models and consider me your cautionary tale. This morning, again, at the breakfast, I, I heard John Green say, story trumps everything. And right on, it, it does. And you are somebody who is trying to tell a story and you're trying to tell the most honest story. In fact, it is your responsibility, as far as I'm concerned, to get down to the marrow of that story. There's a wonderful YA writer, Jennifer Jacobson, and she says that when she sits down to write, she asks herself three times, is it true yet? And that that, to me, I, I think that that is uh, really, to me, that's the standard that we're, we're trying to meet, is, is it true yet? It's my responsibility to try to find the truth of the story and not pull any punches. And um, the truth is that, uh, you know, how can you, you can't really protect someone from the world. Um, I think that there is room for all sorts of stories and there, there are different sorts of stories. And also I think it's really important to point out that teens self-censor. They will pick up a story and if it's not the story for them, they'll put it down. And if there, or if there's something in there that they're just not ready to read, then kind of skim over that part. You know, somebody was telling me the other day about how her daughter is at a point where she's, you know, she's reading at sort of a higher level, and then when she gets to the romance part, she's like, skip it, skip it, skip it. You know, it's interesting in thinking about Evie and the Diviners, who is very much a party girl, very much a Zelda Fitzgerald. Well, that was um, there were certainly party girls at that time, and you know, they're party girls now. That is part of who she is, and I think. Um, that it would be dishonest of me to create a character who didn't have her, her flaws as well. So I'm really more interested in creating sort of fully fleshed out characters and trying to find the heart of the story wherever that may take me, even if it takes me, into, and hopefully it does take me into some really dark and scary and uncomfortable places because I want to be a different person on the other side of that story too.